a solid steel bar of diameter D1 is equal to 25 mm is enclosed in a steel tube of outer diameter D3 is 37.5 and D2 is equal to 30 mm. Both the bar and the tube are held rigidly by support at end A and joined securely to rigid plate end at B. The composite bar which has a length of L equal to 550 is twisted by a tor T is equal to 400 newton meter acting on the end plate. Determine the maximum shear stress in the bar and the tube. Respectively, you have to calculate what is the maximum shear stress in the shaft. That is the inner shaft and the outer shaft. Outer shaft is a hollow shaft. And the angle of rotation in degrees of the end plate. Assuming the shear stress is given as 80 gigapascal. So we have given the value of D1, D2, D3, L, torque. We have to find out here tau in the solid shaft and the tau in the hollow shaft as well as the angle of rotation at point B that is the theta B you have to find out. Now this one is a composite shaft so value of theta B for steel shaft and for steel tube they are same. We have D1 is given as 25, D3 is given as 37.5 and D2 is given as 30. Length of the shaft is 550. The torque applied is 400 Newton meter. Later here the solid shaft is represented by 1 and the hollow shaft is represented by 2. In that case we have to calculate the value of shear stress in the solid shaft as well as the shear stress in the hollow shaft. The modulus of rigidity is given as 80 giga pascal and we have to calculate the value of theta b. Theta b will be same as theta 1 as well as theta 2. So this torque is divided between the steel tube and the steel shaft that is a steel core. So let's say here T represents the total torque, T1 represents the torque carried by the steel core that is a solid shaft and T2 is a torque carried by steel tube that is the outside tube. In this case we have total torque T will be equal to T1 plus T2. Now because of a composite shaft here the theta B value will be same as theta 1 and theta 2 out of that theta 1 is given as T1 L, L is same therefore suffix is not given J1 by G1 is equal to T2 L by J2 G2 is same as equal to theta. So from this equation we can solve for T1 and solve for T2 we will put back here and we will solve for theta by L. So here we will get T1 is equal to J1 into G1 into theta by L and T2 will be equal to J2 into G2 into theta by L. So these two set of equation number 2 will put into equation number 1 and we can find out the value of theta by L. So from 1 and 2 T will be as it is T1 is replaced as J1, G1, theta by L. Theta by L is common to both. So we'll take it outside. Inside the bracket we have J1 into G1 plus J2 multiplied by G2. So we very well calculate here theta by L. We have torque is equal to 400 Newton meter is 400 Newton meter. So you have to multiply by 10 to the power 3. Theta by L we are interested into J1. J1 is for solid shaft whose diameter is D1 is 25 is pi by 32 into D1 which one is 25. So we have 25 to the power 4 into G1. Now G is same for both shaft that is a hollow shaft and steel shaft because material is same. So we can take out here G common. So G I will write down later on plus pi by 32 for hollow shaft, outer diameter equal to D3, inner diameter equal to D2. So we have D3 which is 37.5. So we have 37.5 to the power 4 minus D2 which is 30. So we have 30 to the power 4. And this whole thing is multiplied by G value which is equal to 80. So we have 80 into 10 to the power 3. Solve this equation, we will get twist per unit length. So we get the value of theta by L is equal to 32.86 into 10 to the power 6 radian per mm. 
Now we want to calculate here what is the shear stress in the solid shaft and in the case of hollow shaft. So we have torsion formula is tau max divided by r. Now this r is a for outer radius is equal to g into theta divided by l. So first of all we will calculate here for solid shaft. So for solid shaft tau max that is basically tau 1 is equal to g multiplied by theta divided by l multiplied by outer radius is d1 divided by 2 for inner shaft we have diameter is d1 so we have given the value of g is equal to 80 so we have 80 into 10 to the power 3 theta by l is this is basically minus 6 here is 32.86 into 10 to the power minus 6 and d1 is equal to 25 divided by 2 solve this you will get tau 1 so inner shaft that is the solid shaft has maximum shear stress equal to 32.86 that will be mega pascal in a similar case we can calculate for the hollow shaft that is a hollow tube here we have tau max will be equal to tau 2 is equal to g multiplied by theta by l this time the outer diameter is d3 so we have d3 divided by 2 g same is equal to 80 into 10 to the power 3 theta by l is equal to 32.86 into 10 to the power minus 6 and we have value of d3 is equal to 37.5 so we have 37.5 divided by 2 solve this you will get the shear stress in the tube that is close to 49 mega pascal and we have to calculate here the twist at b that will be theta 1 or theta 2 so we can calculate here twist because theta by l is known so we have theta is equal to theta by l into l this time l is in mm and the theta by l is radian per mm so we have 32.86 into 10 to the power minus 6 length is given to us is equal to 550 so this answer will come in radian is 0 0.018 radian multiplied by 180 and divided by pi you will get this angle in degree equal to 1.03 degree so proceed to solve the problem in the case of compound shaft is same first you have to divide the torque t1 t2 then use the formula for theta theta is same for both the inner shaft as well as outer shaft from this solve for t1 t2 put value back into equation 1 then find the value of theta by l then use the torsion formula tau max upon outer radius equal to g theta by l using this we can calculate tau max for solid shaft as well as for hollow shaft and total twist will be theta by l multiplied by l that come out to be 1.03 degree a bimetallic torsion bar has an aluminium core so inside we have aluminium core and we have a tube of a steel diameter of the aluminium bar is 30 mm that is the value of d1 is 30 and the steel as an outer diameter d2 is equal to 70 you have applied a torque t is equal to 2 newton meter the twist per unit meter length we have to find out and the g value for steel and aluminium are given that is 25 each so this is not a correct data but we'll use this data here to solve the problem we have inner diameter d1 equal to 30 outer diameter d2 is equal to 7 we have g1 is same as equal to g2 is equal to 25 is giga pascal the torque is applied is equal to 2 newton meter and we have to calculate here theta by l so again this torque is divided between the aluminium core and the steel tube So total torque will divide into two. One is T1 and T2. Out of that T1 is a torque carried by aluminium core and T2 is a torque carried by steel tube. So we have T is equal to T1 plus T2. For composite shaft, theta 1 and theta 2 are identical value. 
Now for composite shaft, the free end twist theta b is same as equal to theta is calculated as T1 by L by J1 G1 is equal to T2 L by J2 G2. All these problem steps are same. Here G1 and G2 are same value. So that can be taken common. So we get here T1 is equal to J1 multiplied by G multiplied by theta divided by L and T2 is equal to J2 multiplied by G multiplied by theta divided by L. G1 and G2 are same, theta1, theta2 same, L1, L2 same. So this one is a set of equation 2 and we'll put 2 back into 1. So if you substitute here, the total torque is remain same, that equal to T. Here we can take out the term G theta by L common. What is left is J1, that will be substitution for T1 plus V of J2. Again in the case of J1, J2, pi by 32 can be taken common. This torque is given as 2 Newton meter is 2000 Newton mm. Value of G is given as 25 gigapascal is 25 into 10 to the power 3. We are interested to know the twist per unit length. So we will keep the value as theta by L. Here pi by 32 will take it common into J1 which one is a solid diameter is equal to 30 so we have 30 to the power 4 plus j2 that one is a hollow outer diameter is d2 inner diameter is d1 that is 70 to the power 4 minus 30 to the power 4 and now you have to solve this equation and you have to find out the value of theta by l so the twist per unit length theta by l will come out to be so we have theta by l is 3.39 into 10 to the power minus 8 will be radian per mm. You have to find out per meter length. So you have to multiply by 1000. So it will be 3.39 into 10 to the power minus 5 will be radian per meter. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for gate join the course directly from your mobile the link is given here